Today's obscure pollinator is the lesser long-nosed bat, Leptonictoris curosoa yerbabuena. Turns out, we wouldn't have tequila without the lesser long-nosed bat. In fact, this bat is one of three North American species that feed on nectar, a food source that leads them to travel hundreds of miles from central Mexico to as far north as Arizona and New Mexico. Without these amazing migratory creatures, many recognizable cacti and succulents wouldn't get pollinated, such as blue agave, the plant used to make tequila. There's also the saguaro cactus, which is found in the Sonoran Desert of Mexico, where the white flowers of the cactus bloom for only one night out of the year to attract these bats for pollination. True to their name, the lesser long-nosed bats use their lengthy snout, almost as long as their bodies, to reach deep down into blossoms for nectar, dusting themselves with pollen in the process. And once the blossoms close up by the following afternoon, other pollinators, such as wasps, bees, and birds, feed on any remaining nectar and pollen. For such an important role in the desert ecosystem, lesser long-nosed bats once faced a threat of extinction in the 1980s, possibly due to the fact that cacti and agave flowers were becoming harder to find, as tequila makers increasingly relied on cloning plants, cutting out the need for bats. That was until 2015, when conservation efforts in Mexico led to the removal of these bats from the country's endangered species list, followed by the United States in 2018. Now, these guys are thriving, 